Turkey has recently announced the mass production of Altay, the country's very first homegrown main battle tank. Despite being a member of NATO with one of Europe's largest tank fleets totaling more than 2,600 units, many of these tanks are outdated models dating back to the Cold War era. As part of Turkey's strategy to enhance its indigenous defense capabilities, the Altay platform signifies the nation's goal of becoming a key player in the international MBT market, following the success of the Bayraktar Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Program. So, in today's video, we're taking a closer look at the Altay main battle tank, exploring its development, specifications, capabilities, and future. Let's dive right in. The Altai main battle tank originates from the National Tank Production Project, launched in the mid-1990s to establish independent infrastructure for tank production, development, and maintenance for the Turkish Armed Forces. With the goal of enhancing technical capabilities and domestic defense contributions, the Turkish government pursued a national tank to unite several defense companies and enhance military firepower. In 2007, nearly two decades later, the project materialized with agreements signed between Turkey's largest military contractor, Otokar, and the Under Secretariat for Defense Industries of Turkey. Shortly after, the South Korean company Hyundai Rotem signed a contract for design expertise and technology transfer, a move which proved crucial in the project's development. The first 3D image of the tank was already unveiled to the public in 2010. In 2018, the Turkish Presidency of Defense Industries selected BMC, Turkey's largest automobile manufacturer, for the mass production of the Altay. Additionally, several domestic military companies contributed to various aspects of the project. Roketsen managed the armor package, and Asselson oversaw the fire control system. South Korean firms, such as Hyundai, facilitated the technology transfer for the Altay's main armament, the 120mm 55 caliber smoothbore gun, which will be manufactured by Germany's Rheinmetall. As such, the Altai MBT benefits both from indigenously developed systems and technologies from various companies they have signed contracts with to enhance its capabilities. Now let's take a closer look at the tank's specifications. The Altay main battle tank is based on South Korea's K2 Black Panther chassis, but has been further developed to meet the specific requirements of the Turkish army. It features a domestically designed power pack system, which includes both the engine and transmission, aiming to reduce reliance on foreign technology and strengthen Turkey's self-sufficiency in arms production. The Altay's main armament is a Rheinmetall 120mm L55 smoothbore gun, supplemented by a 12.7mm commander's machine gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. It can carry up to 40 rounds of various types for its main gun. The tank is equipped with advanced protection systems to enhance crew survivability, including advanced armor, CRBRN protection, and a C3I, command, control, communications, and intelligence system. It also features a fire extinguishing and explosion suppression system, a laser warning system, and a battlefield target identification system. Additionally, it is equipped with Oselson's Uramcheck 360-degree situational awareness platform, first unveiled by BMC Defense in March 2023. Operated by a crew of four, commander, driver, gunner, and loader, the Altay weighs approximately 70 tons, Despite its weight, it can reach a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour, or 43 miles per hour, and has an operational range of 500 kilometers. Designed to meet the demands of the Turkish armed forces, Ankara intends to explore export prospects for the Altai. With mass production slated to begin a year earlier than anticipated, the Altai MBT is set to be in operational service by 2025. So, what do you think? Can the Altay MBT achieve the same level of success as other Turkish military platforms, like the Bayraktar drone, for example? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.